Welcome to Kari's Conscious Living. Hello, my favorite friend. If you haven't joined Cat Club yet, please talk to your mom, your dad, your guardians, your grandparents, whoever it is that's in charge and ask them if you can join the Cat Club. You'll get three exclusive Heidi Cherry and Veya stories every month on the 7th of the month. I hope you can join and become part of the family. Namaste, my little friend. Enjoy your story. Are you ready to meditate with Kari? Lie down and get really, really comfortable in your bed. Make sure that everything feels just right in your room so that you can relax and let go of your day. Ben and Sally were twins. They happened to have an amazing nanan. The nan liked to bake. On this particular occasion, they were visiting their nan for the weekend. And after talking with their nan about a number of things that was going on in their world, there was a common theme happening between the twins and that was they weren't very confident. Each one of the twins knew that they were good at certain things but it seemed that they were more about doubting themselves than being confident about themselves. They didn't think that they were good at certain things that they should be good at. Like should always be good at math or you should always be good at English or you should always be good at dancing. You should definitely be good at sports. All of the pressures that you get when you are young and how good you're supposed to be at school. The nan had an idea. She said she was going to bake. Let's bake. Let's bake together. Let's bake my special magical ingredient cupcake. The twins liked to bake with their nan. They'd been doing it since they were really small. So they were both excited about this because it was always fun and she was so sweet and kind and she always stayed so patient with them. She let them do all the mixing and all the messy jobs and the mum never let them do that. They got their aprons on, got the kitchen all clean and set up and they started to prep for the baking. It got to the part where Nan said she needed to add the magical ingredients. She needed the kids to go out to the kitchen for a minute. The kids, both Sally and Ben, said, Oh, can we stay? We want to see the magic ingredient and then in the future we can make the special cupcakes ourselves." The Nan said, Well, sorry, this time I can't tell you the special magical ingredient but I will promise you that in the future I will share it with you when the time is right. But for now, you have to trust me. The twins got up and left the kitchen. Now, what they didn't know was that Nan was basically just stirring the cupcake mix. And as she was stirring the cupcake mix, she was putting all of her love and trust, all of her hopes all of her wishes and dreams, everything that she wished for, for her beautiful granddaughter and grandson. She put extra, extra, extra love inside the cupcake batter. She closed her eyes and opened her heart and thought about how wonderful they were and how precious they were and smart and sweet and kind and funny and all of the good things that they were. She thought that if they knew all of those things about themselves, that they would definitely be more confident. All it would take were these special, magical, confidence cupcakes. After a moment or two or three, she called them back in the kitchen. They put the cupcake batter into the little cupcake cases and put them in the oven. They sat and waited. The cupcakes, when they came out of the oven, 
were the biggest, spongiest, softest looking cupcakes that those guys had ever, ever made before together or alone. They smelt absolutely delicious. Then they had to wait for them to cool before they could decorate them. They were going to make butterfly cupcakes. That's when you cut a shape at the top of the cupcake and you fill it with buttercream and then you cut the shape in half and it looks like wings when you stick them back in the cream. And they look like butterflies, butterfly cupcakes. When everything was finished, the Nan made a cup of tea for everyone and they sat down in the living room and got ready to eat the bestest cupcake they'd ever, ever had. All of them oohed and awed about how soft and spongy, how delicious the flavour was, how wonderful the cream was. Ben and Sally kept trying to guess what the special ingredient was. They had no idea. But what was pretty obvious, within half an hour at eating the cupcake, was what they felt inside. Sally said she wanted to dance. Ben said he wanted to put on his favourite song. They were dancing all over the living room. Ben had always been concerned about what he looked like dancing. But right now, in this moment, he was totally, totally fine. He didn't have a care in the world. And because he didn't have a care in the world, dancing felt very easy and natural. He was just enjoying himself. After they danced for a while, Sally said she wanted to read. Sally had always had a problem with reading. It never quite came naturally. She always stumbled over the words and stuttered sometimes when she was reading out loud. She sat down and read a story. Her voice was loud and confident. She didn't seem to have any issues with it at all. Both of the kids started to catch on that something was not quite normal. The Nan was thoroughly enjoying watching her grandchildren be in their element, all confident and feeling good about themselves. They asked her again, Did you make some kind of magic with those cupcakes that made us feel really good about ourselves? Really confident about ourselves? said Ben. Sally said, Yeah, right? I don't ever like reading. And I just did it the best I've ever, ever done. I felt like I was an excellent reader. The Nan said, Well, you see, I just put something extra special in those cupcakes. I put in those cupcakes exactly what I see in both of you. I put the energy of both of you being amazing, smart, talented, funny, very, 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 very loving and kind. I put how much I love you in the cupcakes, how proud of you I am in the cupcakes, how I think you should have all the confidence in the world in those cupcakes. I put all of my hopes in the cupcakes, all of my dreams for you in the cupcakes, all of my wishes. I put everything in those cupcakes that I think you should think about yourselves. I put in those cupcakes the magic and the ability for you to actually see yourselves for what you really are. And that is amazing, talented, smart, special, funny, all the things that you should know you are, you now know you are because of my magical, confident cupcakes. The kids both laughed and said, well, I think we need these cupcakes every day. Nan said, well, that's the special thing about my magic. 
you only need it once. Once you've experienced it, it never ever leaves you. Now you can see who you are. Now you know who you are. You can trust in yourself and believe in yourself. And that's all it takes to be confident. You just trust and it will happen. After the weekend, the kids went back to their regular life. They went back to school and the nan was right. They did have a lot more confidence. They didn't seem to worry about all the small little stuff. They just did it and tried it and did their best and trusted. They believed in themselves. They were some very special cupcakes. The end. Now it's time to snuggle down and go to sleep. Know that you are all of the wonderful things in the world. Know that you can trust yourself. Know that everyone makes mistakes. Everyone has to learn. Everyone has to be a beginner at something, sometime. Use your trust in yourself to build your confidence. Keep trying and trying and trying and eventually you'll see how wonderful you are. And that will help you to be that confident little person that you know you really are deep down inside. You can do and be whatever you want to be in this world. Sometimes it takes a nan cupcake, a special, magical, confidence cupcake to help you to see just how amazing you are. Go to sleep, my little friend. And when you wake up in the morning, you will be your awesome self.